U.S. Street Sign Recognition is our X442 final project. So object detection is a very important field in computer vision, so we want to do a project based on that. And since there's constant road work in Ann Arbor, we want to create a very accurate scene recognition that could be used for self-driving cars. Previous studies have mostly used European, specifically German, road signs, as you can see on the screen. So we wanted to create an accurate sign detection software for US road signs. Using this LISA data set we found online, this is the only good data set for US signs right now. So in order to solve this problem, we used uh, several different network types, such as transfer learning, which is pre-trained on a larger data set. We used data augmentations for the images so that we can get more specific characteristics like text in grayscale. And we used CNNs and VGGs. And as you'll see in our results, that uh, each type or like each approach has its own pros and cons. But how can we get the best out of each individual type? We used a committee machine, which Devin will talk about next. So this is our idea for the committee machine. Basically, we have um, several different neural network types. Um, as were described before, and they're each individually trained on the data set. And um, each one has a slightly different structure so that you know we can make use of different networks and we can use different um, data features like augmentation to um, also um, determine how they're different from each other. And each network will individually give its own predictions and we can assess the individual accuracy of each one, but also keep a record of the prediction data that it returned. And finally, we can combine them all with a committee that makes the final decision. And this basically aggregates the individual predictions. Um, you could weight one over another if necessary. And um, you know, some networks that are um, better at predicting certain features can tip a prediction balance in towards its favor um, if there's a very close prediction. Um, and the goal is to have a prediction maker that is greater than the sum of its parts, and we'll see the results next. So for each, so for a, a, we used a basic conventional neural network that gave an accuracy of 89%, but we also did some augmentation on the basic neural network where with a rotation augmentation, it gave a 49% accuracy, and with a grayscale augmentation, it gave an 88% accuracy. Uh, we also used a transfer learning neural network uh, called Resident 50, which is a 50 layer deep neural network, which gave an accuracy of 61%. And we also used a VGG, which is a very l deep uh, learning neural network on the VGG architecture that gave 59% uh, accuracy. However, when we added all the, uh, for the best combination that we could find was a committee score of 93.84% accuracy. This, this combination did not use the VGG architecture, but rather it used two weights of the ResNet 50, which is 61% accuracy, but together, all together, it gave a 93.84% accuracy. Um, our original goal was a 95% accuracy, but with all our combinations, with the limited data set that we have, we got up to 93.8%, um, which is 1.2% away from our goal of 95%. Um, the original Lisa data set had 20,000 plus images, but our image data set did not. It only contained about 7,000. Where normally, when you with with this high accuracy papers, you get around a hundred thousand in different problem sets. This this potentially decreases our ability to detect different real life situations or limit overall accuracy. Thank you.